our learning intention for today is that we are learning to use different strategies for subtraction. And today's strategy is standard notation. Standard notation is a fantastic strategy to use if we're dealing with big numbers. It's not a great mental strategy, but if you're able to write it out on something, it's fantastic. Let's start with 65 minus 23. With standard notation, columns are super important. I've got my units column here and my tens column here. Everything needs to be lined up perfectly, otherwise we're going to be getting confused. So I've got my units on top of my units and my tens in, on top of my tens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bottom number away from the top number and I'm using these blocks to help us to visualize it. Each one of these longs is worth 10. So you can see that I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 tens there for 60, 2 tens here for 20, 5 units here, each one of these is 1, 5 units for 5, 3 units for 3, so I've got 65 and 23. That's going to be able to help to show us what exactly we're doing. Okay, so what I do here is that I take the, I'm dealing with only columns at a time. So I'm going to look at my units column and I'm going to take three units away from five units. So I'm going to say I need to take this many away from this many. I can do that. And that way I've dealt with those three. I've only got two left. And so I write down the two. That's the same as doing five minus three is two. Okay, let's do the same thing up here. So I've got six tens and I've got two tens. I need to take this many away from the six tens. So I need to take two tens away, which leaves me with four tens. And so I write down the four. It's in the tens column. So that tells me that actually means 40. This is in the units column and that actually means two. And so my answer to 63 and so my answer to 65 minus 23 is 42. And this strategy works really, really well. But what happens if we have more in the bottom column than on the top? Well, let's have a look. We'll represent it again with MAB blocks. Let's try 71 minus 39. Let's lay it out how we would do in standard notation. I'm going to get my blocks now so that I have enough space to show them. Okay. I have got here 71, so 7 tens, 1 unit, minus 39, so 3 tens and 9 units. Now, I'm going to work from right to left, as I always do with standard notation, and I'm going to take 9 from 1. Oh, I've got a problem here, because how do I take 9 from 1? Well, we actually need to think about it as a whole number now. So I don't just have one unit here, I've actually got 71 units. And I can, so I can take, I've got enough numbers to be able to do this, but how do I think about this? Well, the way we do this is with some trading. So what I can actually do here is because I can't take nine from one, I can't do it. So I need to borrow some numbers from somewhere else. Where am I going to get them from? I'm going to use, look at all these numbers here. I can take something from there, surely. I can, I can take 10 and I'm going to move it over here and I'm going to turn this into 10 units. And now I've actually got something slightly different. I need to write this down though, because no longer do I have seven tens here. I've actually only got six of them because I took one away. And now I've actually got 11 units here. So I'm going to put a little one here to, to let me know that I've got a group of 10 and I've also got one unit there. So I've got 11 there. So this is actually just an 11. Now I can take nine from 11. So I'm going to take nine of these away and that will leave me with two. Okay, now I did have 70 here, but I've actually moved some around. So I've only got six groups of 10 left. So I'm looking at this six, which I wrote here. I took one of the tens away to put it here. So I've only got six tens left here, as you can see there. Now I need to take the 30 away from 60 or three away from six, because it's in that tens column. We know that this means 30, this means 60. So I take three of them away, these three, and that leaves me with three groups of 10 left. So 32 is my solution to 71 minus 39. Let's try one more like this. 
and let's do it without MAB blocks. Let's do 101 minus 76. We need to write this out in standard notation form and we need to make sure that our columns line up perfectly. We'll start with the number that we're taking away on top. So 101 and we will use, our, we'll subtract. We need to write down our operation there. And then we need 76. Where does the 76 go? Does it go start? Do we write it here? No, because this is our hundreds column. We've only got 710, so we start here. 76, it should line up from left to right if we don't have a decimal place. Well, actually, if it has a decimal place, the decimal places will line up here anyway. Okay, so let's work this out now. Okay, so one minus six. Oh, I can't do that. I need to borrow from my tens column. Oh, I don't have any tens in my tens column. But I've got a hundred here. Can I do something with that? Yes, I can. Because 100 is really 10 tens. So I'm going to cross that out. And I'm going to put 10, I'm going to put a 1 here because I've got 10 groups of 10 now. Okay, um, now I need to borrow one, so I'm going to cross those out and make that 9. I know it's a little bit confusing, but that's all I need to do there. Then I move the 1 that I took away, so I took one of those 10s and I put it here. Now I've got 11 minus 6. I can do that. 11 minus 6 is 5. And now I've got 9 minus 7. 9 minus 7 is 2. I've dealt with my 100. It's no longer there because it became 10 tens instead of 100. Oh, I mean, the same, but we just moved them over because we needed to take more away from it. And so my solution here is... And so my solution to 101 minus 76 is 25. Let's do a worded problem, shall we? The distance between Melbourne and Bendigo is 153 kilometres. Jason left Melbourne and travelled 86 kilometres towards Bendigo. How far is he from Bendigo? Okay, let's first find out the problem that we want to solve. So he started with 153 kilometres to travel. So we'll start with 153 kilometres. And he travelled 86. So he cut it down on that distance by 86 kilometres. So we want to find out how far he's got left to go. We want to find out what's left, what the difference between these two numbers is, and we can use standard notation to do that. Let's work out how we're going to do this. So the number we're starting with is 153. And we want to take away 86. Now we need to line up our columns, so our tens column, because we've got 86 there. Okay. Now we need to we'll make sure we've got our subtraction sign there so we know what we're doing. Now we need to solve this problem. Three minus six. Okay, I can't do that. I'm going to borrow a 10 from here. So that becomes 13. And I need to change this because I've taken a 10 away. So that becomes four tens. And now I need to take six from 13. Can I do that? Yes, I can. Six, uh, 13 minus six is seven. Okay, now I move over to my next column, my tens column. 4 minus 8. Oh, I can't do that either, can I? Okay, so I need to take 100 away and move it over here. So now I've got 14 tens, take away 8 tens. 14 minus 8, can I do that? Yes, I can. That is 6. I could use some of my mental strategies to work out that bit just there. And now I've got my solution. Well, not quite because I need to add my units of measurement. And I need to write this in a more acceptable form for the question. Because the question has asked me it in worded form, I should write my answer in worded form as well. Jason is 67 kilometres from Bendigo, remembering my units of measurement there. And there we have it. In this video today, we've looked at another strategy for subtraction, and that strategy is standard notation. Standard notation is a great strategy if we're able to write things down, and we might need to use some of our other mental strategies during some of the workings out. The reason why we need to write it down is because that gets a little bit too tricky to do in our heads. It's important that you're using a strategy that works for you. Standard notation may be that one. It might be subtraction by addition. It might be using jumping or counting backwards. Whatever works for you, so long as it's a reliable strategy, is fantastic.